Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Today I wanted to go ahead and kind of run you guys down with the day two progress of our SSF character. Uh, I would have made this video yesterday, but I was tired, so I just made it basically in the morning before the stream starts. So we're like 16 hours played. I'm not going too crazy on this, right? This is kind of just the benchmark to show you the day. Um, and we are trying to farm our Emperor of Purity. So some cool things that kind of happen. I'm just going to go over my gear, then we're going to go run a map. You got a Rise of the Phoenix off of Katava, so that's pretty cool. Still not the best, like the most desirable shield since I care a lot more about getting like a plus three, plus two, but that's going to be a lot harder in SSF. I think we're going to turn to Rog for that. Uh, I've got a Dot Multi Amulet with Dex. I've got a Helmet with Flat Life, uh, Percent Life, and Flat Life Regen. I've got a Scepter with just Dot Multi, and I've crafted Fire Damage. We got a Pyre Ring through the campaign as well. Uh, also got this two stone ring which we unveiled so we are actually chaos capped um already with an amethyst flask that's something i'm not used to seeing um but yeah thanks john so this is part of why i really enjoy betrayal betrayal has crazy good crafts um moving on forward i've got puff carry gloves over here with decent life uh they give me some decks too uh belt needs some work and my boots so yeah, that's pretty much the rundown of stuff. Uh, to go over my links, we've got RF with Ink AoE, Elemental Focus, Burning Damage, Life Tap, Swift Affliction. This tabula dropped off of an Arc Nemesis while I was trying to farm Div Cards for the Emperor of Purity. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. I'm basically chaining Tier 4 and Tier 5 maps. So if you look at my Atlas here and I type in Tier 4, the only tier 4 map I have, with the exception of the Acton's Nightmare, is Overgrown Shrine. So when I run maps that are higher that do not have adjacent T4, this is the only T4 map that can usually drop. And then with tier 5, I have uh, Overgrown Ruin and Cage. So these two both drop the Emperor of Purity Div card. This one here drops, uh, I think, Chains That Bind, which is 1 out of 11 for a random 6 link. But since this one has been a little bit inconsistent, I decided to open this a little bit and try running another T5. Uh, and then pretty much past that, I can do T6 and whatever I want. So on my Atlas, this is where I'm, you know, kind of figuring out what to do here. So there's a method you could have done in footholds where you basically could have like spam reset time to gather my will. the campaign uh, right over between these two to like force betrayal to set up your board. I didn't really do that. That's kind of kind of like an advanced strategy if you're 10 levels higher you cannot do that anymore so i can't do that and that's okay that's not really very fun to do so basically by farming these low tier maps i'm helping to build up my base um building up my base will eventually lead to getting my gravicious craft and you know so on i'm also building up a little bit of a kirik map base uh, i have been you know spamming all of them so i don't really have them anymore but this will be important for ssf completion we also sort of kind of skipped some content and if you look here i do have a t14 map clear um i died two times in this map from sea witches because you should not be running t14 maps uh with like 3.5k health but you know we've upgraded a bit since then so i pulled this out of a ritual and did not realize it was tier 14. anyway though let's get started i'm just gonna throw in an alk uh, overgrown right over here and let's go Betrayal, we'll have to go back and make that. We also got quite lucky and we've pulled out two exalts already with SSF. Um, kind of weird because I still can't find my card, but that's okay. The two exalts will do wonders for our future scepter crafting. And as for my flash, I'm terrible with my flash management after getting spoiled, not by mage blood. But by the uh, life as not life as yes. What am I trying to? What am I trying to say here? Um, what even was this that I just killed? Uh, da, 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 the what is it? The instilling orbs and stuff for flasks automatically go off at full charges. That's what I'm super spoiled by. So it's gonna be hard uh, trying to like remember how to use my flasks <laughs> up until I get those crafts. Varnish of power. Nope. Yeah, everything's pretty cozy so far i'm not gonna lie um i'm still not really doing much arc nemesis like by much i mean i haven't really looked up recipes i'm kind of just doing like random stuff because 
I don't know. I just feel like I spend so much time planning and pathing, um, like my way through Path of Exile. Whenever I have something that's kind of like new, uh, I'm really hesitant to learn it just because it's probably not even going to be there next league. And every time I see Arc Nemesis, there's a bunch of like, uh, there's a bunch of like spreadsheets and stuff and i know it's really easy to understand i'm just really stubborn sometimes so arc nemesis is something we're probably going to do later um but yeah yeah still still a lot of room to learn a lot of room to grow so i'm pretty happy we're rocking a solid uh 2000 life regen per second now between our life and our es of course that's not actually our regeneration because rf is taking from it but it's still pretty high i mean it's pretty good okay we actually got a john mission so that's even better to gather my will. and then i'm just gonna go do this expedition real fast let's see here um any physical on me or uh runic essence no ivory boy oh log books Risky choice. Logbooks are actually such a cool concept in SSF. When I get them in Trade League, I just want to never, ever, ever run them, but I want to sell them. But in SSF, I want to run them because, I mean, who cares, right? What am I going to lose? Nothing. My mana is spent. Oh my. Perfect. Alright then, yeah, that's pretty much going to conclude the summary recap of the character. So, if you do tune into the stream today, I'm pretty much going to be farming these T4 maps and T5 maps to try to get my 6-link card. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Oh, look at that life regen. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys hey, enjoyed cool. yourselves. If you did, feel free to hit that follow button or that, that like button. And don't forget to uh, share and subscribe. Catch you guys all later. I haven't had my coffee yet. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow.